Hey guys, and welcome back to Urban Strike. When we last left off, we had finished the oil rigs, and uh, <laughs> that was quite easy actually. So, on to the next one. Goodbye. Balone has been manufacturing powerful ground assault vehicles in an old auto plant in Mexico. He has hired out-of-work weapons and game designers. Uh, they've been designing prototype GAVs. We believe the blueprints for these are housed in the modern business buildings. They are easy to spot. He is also holding Strike Corps pilots prisoner in a POW camp nearby. Get our people out of there. You know what to do. Good luck. Yeah, shoot everything basically is what it boils down to um which is part of the course for a damn good strike game now this mission is very similar to one in um jungle strike actually and when i say very similar i mean very similar if we actually have a look at the map here um it's very i can't remember what that mission was called uh, i think it was actually like the third mission as well uh, we're going to grab these guys. I'm going to open up as many buildings as I can. There are some buildings here with goodies in. And there are a lot of buildings here. Unfortunately, without goodies in. I can't remember which one's which. Uh, there's not a huge amount of goodies compared to the amount of buildings there are. So, I, I'm not 100% sure if this is actually worth doing. But, I like to have a lot of uh, options. And a lot of ammo and fuel and stuff like that on the table. There are some enemies shit skulking around here as well which we need to be careful of uh especially the gabs yes there is one gab sneaking around out the back here somewhere now we can't take them out with the helicopter and we're not getting any items here i promise you there are there's a gab yeah we want to stay away from that if humanly possible because uh, we've only taken a few shots and he's done the best part of 300 points of armor of damage to us which is crazy we also want to really if we can help it stop crashing into buildings look there we go ammo i told you there was stuff and there's fuel there oh, i don't know if we can take them out i think they've got like five thousand points of armor uh, if you try and take them on with a helicopter so uh, i'm not sure maybe depending on uh, how good a shape we're in at the end of this mission ah there's a wolverine we can handle a wolverine wolverines yeah two missiles and two rockets sends that thing packing we're finding loads of ammo but we're not finding fuel and we've burned through a lot of fuel do it ah. ask and you shall receive or should i say complain and you shall receive i guess uh, we probably yeah burnt through most of our machine gun as well but hey that's fine Ugh. there we go the old one two combo right well, we're gonna leave these buildings well maybe not that one intact for now we don't have to worry too much about ammo because there's tons of it on this mission fuel on the other hand uh, i mean luckily it's not the longest mission in the world now before we start our actual objective let's have a little look up here there's tons of these guard posts everywhere as well they really are dotted all over the place but it doesn't matter it's not that tough not compared to us anyway now there should there we go be a little village up here and we want to kill all of the dudes i'm going to start opening up some buildings because there should be some goodies in here including the quick witch which god damn it these are deceptively easy to smash into as well is there really nothing up here? Nope, there's fuel. Fuel's good. We like fuel. We really like fuel. This should be ammo or something. No, it's a quick winch, of course. Idiot, I just said that. Right, I'll have him. So we've got ammo and fuel. That's kind of acceptable, I suppose. Let's also grab up some more dudes. Remember, there's one there if we need him later. The only point of that guy, really. And this one has an extra life. Yes. There we go. That's pretty much all the goodies I know of on this level. Um, we're really low on fuel already. Yeah, well, I mean, I suppose we might as well grab the fuel up here. And you know what? We're not going to be coming up here again unless we want to pick up that guy for some reason. So I guess 
we'll have a quick restock here so we're fresh and ready for combat now let's head into the first mission which is scout team rescue our scout team knock out ta uh, towers first shut down early warning towers protecting the area around the POW camp and then bust out our strike scout team out of their prisons well that we can do we're already like full up um, because we found like loads of civilians and whatnot, but that's fine. Uh, we're probably going to need a bit of a top up on armor anyway. Uh, I guess whilst we're here, we could kind of cheese it a little bit, I suppose. And I really am hitting everything at the moment. See these paratroopers coming in. Uh, this is actually a later mission, but we might as well do it now because we're here. There's no penalty for doing this one early. So, why not? There you are. There you are. Now, we can shoot these guys coming down. Uh, there's not really a lot of point, apart from the fact you can get them early without them actually hitting you, which is a bit of a bonus. Uh, there we go. And it's always nice to shoot at the enemies before they can shoot you back, you know. Right, these are the guys that we've got to save later. You can see there's a lot of picking up... Um, people in this mission which is fine uh but it does mean there's an awful lot of back and forth now this is a danger zone i don't know why this is a danger zone sometimes it is sometimes it isn't i don't know where the alert zone if there is one for this mission there's also another alert zone a little bit later on in the mission and again sometimes it's an alert zone sometimes it isn't don't know the science behind it myself um, there is no uh, radars and things as far as I'm aware whether this is a glitch I don't know but that's everything in here solved right let's go rescue all of these guys a few bullets yeah a few bullets at the actual buildings is all we need and wow, the emulator is really slowing down. Actually, the emulator is not slowing down at all. But the game is slowing down. Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. Right, let's go drop these guys off. Uh, unfortunately, our LZ is all the way back here. We're actually really low on armor. So it's not actually a bad shout. Okay. Um, now, our LZ is literally right next to our uh, landing zone. Which is kind of annoying considering how many people you have to pick up on this mission. It would have been nice if they dumped the LZ a little bit closer to the central area. But hey, I guess they want you to use that precious fuel. Which is fine. We'll jump through the hoops, monkey. Now, um, oh, there is still something uh, sparked up over here. Lots of um, rocket launcher guys on this mission as well bear that in mind there's tons of them yeah look at that i don't know if we've glitched guys now let's go grab these guys up anyway my buddy's inside the armored barracks he's been tortured you'll have to land and get him out before it blows he's been tortured you say damn that wouldn't fly these days jesus well, we're going to drop uh, our buddy in there to go bust his ass out the fire. Okay. Need a co-pilot. We certainly do. All right, let's go get our co-pilot back. Now, uh, that's... They actually express urgency on that mission. Like, you have to go get it before it explodes. But, woo. Wow, I'm just face-planting everything. We're testing the structural integrity of the uh, Mohican today. Yes, Yes, that'll do. That is exactly what we're doing. Um, yeah, they, they do actually express a sense of urgency with that mission. Like, you've got to get them out. He's being tortured. But the building's going to explode. Um, but there's no actual time limit, as far as I'm aware, to do that. So bear that in mind. I'm guessing that's so you can't screw yourself over. Like, for instance, if you have 26 units of fuel... 26 units of fuel. We've got four barrels of fuel on the map. That's not bad, actually. All right, let's go. There was some fuel by this gav down here, wasn't there? Yeah. 
Ooh, right, okay. Took one knock on the chin there. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, so they do, oof, they do 100 points of damage per shot. 10 shots from that thing and you're dusted. Uh, yeah, don't want none of that, thanks. Okay. Oh, and would you Adam and Eve it? We've clipped that thing again. Unbelievable. Right, let's grab the last of these guys. There's a nice juicy armor repair there. So, mission complete. Now we have to destroy the enemy battle camp. Destroy the enemy's battle camp. This will keep reinforcements from attacking our landing zone. Uh, yeah. Um, I, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. See, notice how this is a danger zone. See how this is a danger zone. I don't know. I haven't actually looked up here, to be honest. Eventually... This will cease to be a danger zone. And I'm not sure why or where the actual danger zone is. Let's go back down. Uh, I don't know if it coincides with one of the buildings that we can destroy here. Uh, it's possible we're going to lose a life here, but we're going to try and be a bit tactical. Here we go. Look, danger zone. No idea. No idea why. Because as... Oh, Christ, on a motorbike. That... Yeah, that hurt. Right. That Wolverine is really shredding us. Now, these are the Wolverines here. So, they're X-rayed Wolverines. Tanks. Armor, 250. So, they take two missiles and two rockets to knock out. 25 uh, units of damage per shot and see how fast they fire incredibly accurate sonic triangulation sightings and targeting weapon systems it shoots faster than your rotors can beat yeah you're probably not wrong there to be honest and then we've got the aaam flak cannon which is uh, 100 points of armor so one missile to dust and 25 points of damage so they do the same amount of damage as the wolverine Low power pop gun barks like a guard dog, bites like a flea. You have bigger worries now. That's true, you do have bigger worries. Um, but it does the same amount of damage as that, and it says that that thing's um lethal. But I think it all comes down to DPS. That right, let's just fly down here because there has to be a point. Look at this alert zone that we're in. I don't know why we're in this alert zone. Let's go and drop some guys back. Oh, let's get this armor patched up. Right, we're going to use the fact that uh, we've got all of these extra guys that we can drop off to repair our armor. Because we really need it, man. I mean, holy shit. You saw that. You saw that. You saw the amount of fire that they're literally filling the sky with. It's tough. It really is. Right, 780 armor. That's not bad. There is an armor repair crate that we've already busted open. Also, there is... Oh, there's a Wolverine there, really? Wolverines! Right, you're done. Get the hell out of here. There is also some men over there that we can go grab if we need them. Which we probably will. Look at all these RPG guys, man. They're everywhere on this map. I'm not kidding. They are everywhere. Okay, apparently... This is now not an alert zone. Yeah, this is what I uh, discovered. I had to test this to be sure. When I was testing this mission before, it's an alert zone like the first time you turn up. And afterwards... It's not an alert zone. Like, if you bug out and come back. So, yeah, I'm guessing... Yeah, there we go. This bit was lethal a minute ago. But as you can see, now they seem to have forgotten about us. I don't know the science behind this, guys. And there we go. Uh, well, grab that fuel and the ammo, for that matter. Sometimes it's just best in this game not to ask questions. Right, so, that's that dusted. Now we've got the contractors. Rescue defense contractors. 
Rescue the imprisoned defense contractors. Paratroopers are dropping in to execute them at any moment. Well, <laughs> yeah, we've already shredded those guys on the way in. Uh, so let's go pick our boys up. We still got that repair there, which is nice. I don't know if armor repair... No, armor repair doesn't actually show up on this mission. Which is kind of annoying. I don't know why. Like, in um, Jungle Strike, from what I can remember, every mission will tell you where there's an armor repair. But Desert Strike was different. Only one mission, I think, showed you where armor repairs are. And this one seems to have gone back to that. Some missions it will ping up armor repairs on your map. Sometimes it doesn't. Very annoying stuff. Anyway, let's go drop these boys off. Get them repaired. Get us repaired, I should say. We don't really want to repair our soldiers. That would be awkward. Start, you know, fucking, I don't know, blow torturing some dude's face. Uh, there's another guy there to pick up if we need some armor. There's also another guy up the top by that village. Uh, we should be okay, though. I mean, the meat and potatoes of this mission is now done. Very short mission, actually. At least it feels like a very short mission. Right. One second, guys. My phone is going. There we go. I'll sort that out in a minute. All right. Uh, oh God, hello. Whoa, he was tough. Maybe we didn't hit him properly. I'm not sure. Um, what are we doing here? So we've got Wolverines down there. We've got Wolverine up there. Right, let's just go straight to the plant. Pay him a visit. Oh God, right, okay. Now, let's destroy you. And, aha, right, see that? That's going to spill out a load more guys to pick up. Just what we wanted, but it's also going to attract the attention of more of these guys. But that's fine, we can handle those guys. Um, so, Gav plans. Still the Gav plans. The plans for Malone's ground assault vehicles are being held in his... One second, guys. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Important vocal. Uh, right, yeah, so let's continue opening these. Now. Yep. What else would you have in your ultra-modern planning building, I suppose? A couple of AA guns to wake up any unsuspecting strike corps pilots. So, let's go grab these. Did I... Did I read this out? The plans for Malone's ground assault vehicles are being held in his design and drafting buildings. Still super weapon plans from these buildings. Yes. So we've got to take the plans and the... Oh, shit. And the engineers. We're bingo missiles. So you know what that means. That means... <sighs> ten rockets. There we go. Ten rockets fed into his metal hide. All right, come here, you. And we'll have the plans for good measure as well. We'll have you. And we'll have you. Great. We have the plans at 5,000 points of armor. It looks like the Gavs are best destroyed by another Gav. To hotwire it to blow fuse C. Yeah. So, fuse C. Um, right. Now, let, oh shit. So, let's head up to mission five. Now, this this one is a bit of an ass. Destroy Gav's armor 5,000. Knock out the Gav guard, then take command of the enemy Gav to destroy the other Gavs. Gav, Gav, Gav. The thick skin of a Gav is too heavily armored for the Mohican's guns. Yeah, not really sure how, but sure. Some nice bullshit game logic there. Right, so what we've got... Oh, God. Oh, there's no one in there. That's weird. Okay. 
Ah, there he is there. He's decided to go stand on top of this. To access the ground assault vehicles. Press C, apparently. I didn't actually push anything there, but okay. Like, flashed up for a hot second. Okay. So, let's go grab ourselves a gav. Now, these things are pretty monstrously powerful. You can't really do an awful lot with it, though. That's the only trouble. You've got 2,000 points of armor. Uh, I guess our one's defective. We do run out of fuel. We've got hydras and we've got guns. Now, we've got to destroy all of the other gavs. Now, some of them do start firing back, which is a problem because they actually really do a lot of damage to us. So, if we kind of get them at range, we should be able to out range these guys just about yeah you can tell pretty quickly if they're gonna fire back because most of the time if they fire back you can lock onto them i say as he actually doesn't lock onto them all right that's fine got 900 armor left this is actually quite hard to do without dying right we can get him at range although i'm not sure if we're actually getting him or there we go yeah, the Hydras is where it's at. Now, we've got armor there. Armor's really useful. You can pick up supplies with these gavs, luckily. No point even using the cannons, if I'm 100% honest. Uh, right. All right, we can get these guys. But not all of them wake up. Although, apparently, that one up there does. Yeah, we can outrange these, which is nice. Hey, mission 5 complete. Sweet. So, we've got 900 points of armor left for the Gav. So, we can actually... Get out of here. We can actually leave that armored crate there for um, for our helicopter if we need it. Right, let's go back to the Mohican. And we will have a look at the Gavs there. Uh, yeah, Gavs destroyed. Factory operational. So... Last mission of this one. Blast TNT shack and expose smart bombs. Blast open the shack containing the smart bombs powerful enough to close Malone's factory for good. Carry it to the factory and drop it off on his doorstep. Yes, sir. So, let's go grab that, shall we? Now, here's the factory. This this mission's a bit of an ass. How much armor have we got? 720? It's not great. I'm going to fly and get us fully patched up we also could use some fuel thinking about it all right that's cool we can go down here the one stop shop there's a reason i'm not picking up the armor uh that we've just uncovered and that's because we might need it in a minute this is the wrong one this is the paratrooper place yeah 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 we're low on go juice i know i know this thing is as unefficient as all the other strike birds all right so let's grab this Nice. Again, not sure how that building blew up, but didn't take the fuel with it. That's kind of impressive, if you ask me. So, let's go back. Now, they do pull a bit of a fast one on you, which is kind of cheeky if you're not prepared for it. Luckily, I am prepared for it. But there was a time I wasn't prepared for it, and that was a bad dark time. Now, Let's get rid of you. Now, this is the shed. Pretty sure it does actually mention the fact that this is a shed. Uh, no, it's a shack. All right, I'll give it. I'll let it off for calling it a shack. I think that's quite funny. So as soon as we hit this, loads of bullshit is going to spawn. Because why not? Actually, it's not too bad. I'm pretty sure there's another Wolverine spawn somewhere. Nope. Okay, no, I think we're okay. Oh, shit, I didn't want to pick up the smart bomb just yet. And for good measure, we've got to clip our tail. Because, yes, I guess. Okay, uh, now. Ooh, see the gav. See that gav. Now, if we're smart and clever, we can get in, drop that, and that will blow up the factory and the gav in one foul swoop. It did not. So what we're going to do, because I don't want the gav to survive... We're going to transfer to our Gav, and we're going to have some Gav on Gav action. That sounds dodgy. Uh, no. Uh, game. No. No game. 
Come on, game. Thank you, game. Don't be a dick, game. Right, there. Oh, good. We're out of missiles <laughs> in the gap, so... And we're just playing silly buggers at the moment. Yep. That went about as well as uh, I expected it to, I suppose. What was meant to happen is we're supposed to land. And we're supposed to drive off that. And grab that. Oh, God, I can't believe I lost a life there. Damn it, that's through bullshit game mechanics as well. Yeah, if you even touch that landing pad, you'll automatically get out. It's really annoying. But hey, that's fine. Uh, that's what happens. As I said, we're going to leave all of the fails in. Um, <laughs> there may be a few more yet. So we've done everything. That's mission complete. Let's get the hell out of here, shall we? How long did that take? 25 minutes. You know, these missions are pretty consistently half an hour-ish, which is interesting. Uh, I thought they were going to be a little bit shorter than this. I thought this was quite a short one, to be honest. But hey, there we go. Right, let's go touch down. Now, there is a gap behind. Actually, what I will do, because we've got three lives, we've got time to spare. Uh, let's go grab some weapons. Let's go see if we can actually destroy a gap in the chopper, shall we? So we've got to do roughly 5,000 points of damage to this bloody thing. There it is. And preferably not fly straight at it. If we can. Uh, we're out. Right, okay, we're out, we're out, we're out. Got 400 points of armor left. Got some more weapons. Did we grab that armor? Oh, God. Hello. Really, game? No. Uh, that's actually okay. I guess we'll drop these guys off. Sure. Man, these uh, landing zones are really sticky in this game. Right, can you die, please? Thank you. Uh, we've got some good armor. Fuel's a bit rubbish, but that's fine. Let's have a look for gavs. Uh, it's not going to show us this gav on the map either, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, luckily, we can dance around this thing pretty well. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure uh, that you cannot destroy those with the Mohican. Um, because I know for a fact that these missiles do 100 points of damage. So, when you th think about it, we grab the fuel. And we grab the armor. And we grab the ammo. When you think about it, we definitely should have done uh, enough damage to pop it. Let's try it though. Let's give it one more load of missiles and rockets. Alright, well, I mean, most of those hit, I guess. Oh no, look at that. You can actually dust those things. They just take a insane amount of damage. That's interesting. Right, you're gone. Now let's go sweep this place clear. So we've only got two Wolverines left. Well, we can waste both of those things. We've got plenty of fuel to do it. Interesting. So 5,000 points of uh, <laughs> armor in this game. That's... A lot, apparently. More than I thought. I would have thought that uh, your rockets at 25 uh, damage apiece would have... Yeah. I mean, that's 250 damage. Well, I suppose, actually, if you think that's 250 damage for 10, and you can hold, what, 60? 250 damage. Yeah. Yeah, that's not... That's only about 1,200 or damage, or 1,400 damage. For a full pack of rockets. But then, yeah, so to uh, say a thousand damage for your missiles. Huh, so yeah, two full packs of rockets and two packs of missiles should be enough to knock out a gav. 
Now, I don't know how much damage the gun does in this. I'm going to say probably one. Um, I know in... What was it? Desert Strike. No, I think it's five. Yeah, because in Desert Strike, uh, your gun did three points of damage, which is weird. Anyway, guys, that's this mission done. And we are going to save state it. Because that is what we do. Because fuck passwords and their consistencies. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time. <laughs>